some of you might not be that good in pixel art and just decided to give his graphics some pixel art effect or pixelating his graphics. So in today's video I'll show you how to create simple shader graph that converts any sprite in your scene to pixelated or pixel art one. This shader graph can be applied to a whole scene by applying it to all the materials in the scene or all the sprites that contributing to the scene and it can give great results like the ones you see on the screen now. This is Ravens Altaba from Binary Lunar and let's get started. So I have created a new 2D project and like any other shader graph tutorial I previously did, uh, you need to add from the package manager the universal rendering pipeline. Scroll down and select the universal RP, click install. Once the universal RP is installed, right click in the project, create rendering universal render pipeline pipeline asset forward renderer you can name it to the renderer then you go to the project settings and set that new renderer at the default in both graphics and quality now the render ready to create the shader before we start doing the shader let's bring some sprite to apply the shader on it now let's create our shader right click create shader to the renderer sprite and lit graph name it pixel art shader open the shader graph and now let's start by creating texture 2d property name it main texture then set the reference to underscore main text make sure that the m and t capital that will auto detect the current sprite you apply the shader to it now let's create sample texture 2d node then link the main texture property to the texture on the sample texture 2d then link the output of that uh, node to the color and set the default sprite to the sprite we imported to the scene which is this cute little girl the main idea here is very simple it's to use the UV node then play with that to make it pixelate each point in the sprite and to do so we need to create uh, a new property it's vector1 let's name it pixel sample it represents how many sections we need to split our sprite to make it look pixelated so let's set the default value for now to 10 then we need to multiply the UV with the pixel sample so create multiply node then link both the UV and the pixel sample to it and as you can see multiplying the UV with 10 made it to range between value from 0 to 10 and for the vertical axis which is represented by red you can see it goes from the bottom which represents by 0 and as it increases to 1 it blends with the yellow then it's continue to keep yellow to the top and also for the green horizontal axis represented by the green channel it goes from zero till it reaches that blend with yellow it reaches there one then it continues to 10 so it keeps yellow what we need to do now is to remove that blend between the red and yellow and between the green and yellow and that can be done using the floor node which eliminates the decimals and gives full integer and now we got solid section solid green solid yellow solid red instead of getting gradients between them now to return back the 10 sections to one while keeping the sections to make it uh, look like pixelated we divide again between the floor we divide the floor on the pixel sample to get 
the pixel art effect and simply that's it all about the shader then we link the output from the uh, divide to the UV of this sample texture 2D as you can see now uh, this girl represented by 10 pixels by 10 pixels which distorted all the vision of it so now we need just to increase the pixel sample to start seeing better results maybe change the 10 to 50 pixels that would give a better result and now the girl seems like has been drawn using the pixel art save the shader and now we need a material to hold our shader graph so let's create a new material name it pixel art mat then drag the shader to it then drag the material to our sprite in the hierarchy to see it how it looks in the game view now you can expand the material section and adjust the pixel sample to reach the view you would like to see in your game art so you can increase decrease or maybe even animate this pixel sample property to get some nice animation or maybe transitions between the scenes so let's create a simple animation from the animation tab hit create and create an animation name it pixel animation hit record and at the beginning change maybe the pixel sample to something like 1k which uh, makes the sprite unpixelated then go to 0.30 then change the value of pixel sample to 100 and then you can copy the value from the 0 to 1 second to reach this nice transition between pixelated photo or sprite to unpixelated one maybe you don't need to use that maybe this good for maybe getting hit effect or maybe if you applied it to all the sprites in the scene you can transition those making the movement or transition between different scenes in the game i have applied this graph to some scenes that i created previously and here is the results i got and that's it for today's video, thanks for watching and special thanks to our supporters on Patreon, Alex Friedman, Giacomo Marini, Philip Romano FSS, Tim Makinov, Falcon Jazz, Jun Yun Dung, Ilzik Salikhov, Fes El Fever, Stablerion, Kani Folv, Pedro Transongs, Jans Valentine, Kojo Opuni, Rick Japohoski, Jack Crystal, Benjamin Benj, and Mohamed Aiden. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Till next time, see you soon.